Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there. How are you doing? It's Big Porky here. The voice of hardcore boxing. Knocking on a bit now, aren't I? Pushing 50. But, I'm just on my way back up to the factory. Uh, I had to come back for uh, delivery. And I'm now gonna go get my script. Gotta get your script, haven't you? Gotta stick at it. It's a battle. Hang on a minute, I'm falling red hot today. Uh, uh, two seconds, because this is important. No, I don't. I don't, I don't buy them, do I? I? I know you tried for me, I don't buy head gaskets, go on them. Stay away from them. I told you about discoveries before, all right, Carl? Uh, well, it's all right for some, innit? In Benidorm, Michelle. Right, that's all my messages sorted. We're going here. Uh, onwards and upwards. I'm gonna get my Subitex now. Go get my daily fix. Go get my daily heroin substitute fix. Beats having to get them off black market, doesn't it? But uh Shout out to Nikki and Luke Smedley, they've got a show coming up in December at Black Cat Boxing, Sheffield putting on some good white collar shows, they put music and comedians on and they have a raffle and all sorts so go to Nikki Smedley's Facebook, Luke Smedley, Black Cat Boxing, shout out to them boys, very good friends of mine, shout out to Mick Whale, I'll see you later on this week Mick, training at Glen Roads today, week being Monday, I'm up there so I might as well just knock six two minutes out on bag. Average man's knackered, isn't he, after one minute? So, get 12 minutes out at a good pace. I'll be alright, won't it, for Big Porky? I'll be Little Porky soon when I'm a cruiserweight. So, I'm just going into Gotham City, Edlington. When I grew up, oh, it's that school there, me. Ed Lowell Top. Where men are men, and the women know it. <laughs> How cringe is that, Russ? Saying that, look at her there, she looks like she batters her fella. <sighs> oh my god! Shall I take. Ah, oh, no, I can't do it, I know. We've got women. We've got women walking up the street in pyjamas! Hat! What bast! What time is it? It's 12.50! 12.50 and they're in the jammers! And up seven hours. Get back there. So, what did we learn from the weekend's experience then? Well, because it really an experiment, wasn't it, really? The KSI Logan Paul experiment. What did we learn? Well, what we did learn is Eddie Earn and Dazone smashed the life out of it, didn't they? Really, with numbers. They're not bothered if you can fight. Look, Logan Paul and KSI, KSI, they can't fight for Toffee, can they? Right? They're about as good as me. In fact, they're probably about the same as me. Very, very basic. I'm very, very basic, I've been told. Very basic with terrible footwork. And I'm unfit. But I've got a little bit of pop in my punches, and I? But I'm very basic. Very. And I'm, I'm, what does Ultratech say? He's the, Rob, he's the black Robin Deakin. Well, I'm the white Fonz Alexander. I'm the Fonz Alexander of boxing, right? His real name's Alec Anderson, but he's called Fonz Alexander. I think he's been on about eight Steffi Bull shows. When Steffi needs a welterweight, he rings Fonz Alexander, doesn't he? Hey, Cunningham. <laughs> Fonz Alexander! Where did I dig that one up from? 
I'm the Fonz, on the Fonz Alexander, a white collar boxing. Alright. And what's Spencer Fearon? Well, he's Spencer Fearon, isn't he? Ex whatever. I mean, he would tip to win a British title, wasn't he, when he turned pro? So, he's probably going to punch me upside down, isn't he? But if I can get through it and he doesn't drop me and I'm still standing at the end, well, I'd be happy with that. News to know then. Then we might have to do a combat sport that I like. What do you think to that, Spencer? What do you think to that? But it is what it is, isn't it? So, pull in here. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Is that on that? Sludge all over my car is unbelievable. Drug test tomorrow. I'm alright, it'll be negative. Another negative for Big Porky. Keep piling them up. I hope Den sticks to it. Uh, oops, does help if you put it in gear. Also, I hope Den sticks to his uh, word. He gets me a Rolex once I've given 20 negatives. I'll tell you what, Den, nearly halfway there, mate. In fact, I think we are halfway there. I want you to go back on your word, Den, would ya? Rolex! Rolex for Porky! Rolex are crap, I'm a brake limb man. Uh, so what did we learn from the weekend's experiment? Uh, well, we learned that social media is not to be underestimated, is it really? Uh, it's not to be underestimated at, at all. At all, it, it isn't, is it, social media? You've got to understand that that's, if they're gonna drive, do numbers like that, look at Dusty's kicking all over my car in that bus. If they're going to do numbers like that, it says a lot for boxing, doesn't it? I mean, what sort of sport are we involved in here? It's got, do you know boxing, right? It's got less followers for its flagship magazine than fishing. How's about that? So fishing, the fishing magazine, whatever it's called, Fishing Monthly or the Fishing Echo or whatever, I don't know, the Fishing Courier, whatever it's called, if fishing is more popular than boxing, why aren't I involved with fishing? I don't know. I don't know, but like I just said to you there, it's, uh, boxing do not do numbers, does it? It's all about numbers, isn't it? Eddie Hearn's right, isn't it? It ain't about doing your conkers in it on shows, is it? Losing money. But, so, I think we'll go up here, do a bit of filming up at. Uh, but factory. So at least I brought my batteries this afternoon. And I think I'll go to glue. Oh! Forgot my gloves. Forgot my gloves. Some, I'll just get some I've done today and I'll do some bag work this week at the, uh, in Wales probably get Sean uh, to take me on pads Sean who works at Mick Wales gym fantastic pad man and uh, if I'm doing alright they might even let me go on pads with John Joe Irwin former British Commonwealth champion is he a Commonwealth Games gold medalist John Joe? I don't know I think he is I like him 
I like him a lot, honestly, he always comes up to me. He always asks how I am and how my family is, and that's all you can expect, innit? That's all you want, really, innit? It's like Smido. Smido off a of boxing asylum. How are you doing, Big Porky? Are you alright? Is family okay? Are you alright? Just the basic things that people ask, like Chris Medley, Richard Towers, Dennis. Basic things. Are you alright? How are you doing? What's happening? Not, hey, up it's so and so. Have you got that here? Have you got a set? Of, what, did I, what did I ask yesterday? How are you doing? I'm not going to say his name on here because he didn't watch it anyway. Have you got any junk leads? Who is it? Oh, I'll give you my number. Oh, I got your number off uh, Gibbo. Oh, well, what do you want? Have you got any junk leads? Oh, yeah, you know I have. Oh, I've bought this automatic and batteries flat. Oh, right. None of that. Porky, how are you doing? Are you all right? None of that whatsoever. How are you doing, Ross? Yeah, I'm all right. None of that. The manners cost no, don't they, really? I mean, how many people on here, actually, when they ring the friends, they say, how are you doing? Not Ross, are you going to get me on the show? Now, if I want you to come to the show, if I want you to come to Dennis's boxing show with my 10 free tickets, I'll ask you, but if I don't know you, I'm, I don't know, you might be a plant pot. So I have to work people out, don't I? I don't just start handing free tickets out willy-nilly. Because if I really wanted to, I could sell them, couldn't I? But I've never sold any. I don't do that, but if I wanted to, I could. You know, ambulance here. You never know when your time's up, do you? So, but... Like I said, it's eight. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, four. And then it's 19 days talk show. 19 days to go. Is it 18, 19 days? 19 days. So it's not long now, is it? Not long to go. Not long at all. Ago. I can't believe I forgot them gloves. Unbelievable. I'll have to get a pair. I'll have to get a spare pair. From somewhere, I'll have to scrounge a pair. So that's basically me day plan that today. Script done, catch up on interviews, bit of filming this afternoon, bit of training at Glynn's tonight, this afternoon sorry, and then it'll be some cardio tonight. And then fisherman's pie with veds, <laughs> with water, <laughs> no beer, no beer, no wine. Jesus. We're telling Jane Couch, Savannah Marshall. They're laughing, aren't they, about it? Aren't you, Janie? <laughs> I know you are. Look, if you want to try this, if you want to try what I'm doing here, when I go to, it's hard work, especially food. When I when I go to bed at night, do you know what last person's face I see at night? Spencer X. Spencer Fearon's face is what I see when I put my head down on pillar. I'm thinking, what am I doing here? Pushing 50 year old. What the fuck am I doing here? Knowing that if at any stage I get an injury, oh, I get so much stick, won't I? I'll never be able to live it down. I mean, am I, am I going to have to wear me, me, me Tarzan thong at weighing? I mean, I hope there's, there's not going to be a weighing, is it? Surely we're just going to get at it, aren't we? I don't have to strip off to add to my thong. I have to get my thong on. Get on scales. Fucking hell. Oh, God. It's just like a bad day in Bosnia, isn't it? Like a bad day in Bowlby, Doncaster DM4. 
feel naked as well today. Now we change. But yeah, so week two, week two we're on. We could call this Porky's training blog, but I don't know. I think of a title, a catchy title. But it is what it is, isn't it? It's it's gonna be interesting. It's quite tall, Spencer Fearing as well. I watched one of his fights last night. He's got that crouching style, and he like David Ayad and Groves. Wonder how I'm gonna deal with that. I can't just grab hold of him and flip him about, can I? There's gonna be none of that in. It's gonna be Queensby rules, isn't it? Maybe I could just do a peekaboo. You know, peekaboo. Like Canelo did against Kovalev. I watched that as well last night. I thought, oh yeah, that's how you do it. You put your hands up, don't you, and block them. Because I can't see Spencer hitting hard enough to hit, hit my hit my hands and then knock me out that way. But what if he hits me in the stomach? I've had a gastric band, he could kill me. Then what? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm sliding in one. I'm sliding in one here, thinking about fighting Spencer Fearon. Think you know me better than that, don't you? As if I'm shitting my pants about Spencer X. I punch him outside down, smash him to bits. That's what you're saying, eh? If you're trying to promote a fight for charity, don't you say you're just going to smash them to bits and then you get in ring and do fuck all? Isn't that, isn't that what you're supposed to say? You say, yeah, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to make me, I'm going to make mincemeat out of you. Pile your mask, bubble and squeak. And then you get in ring and you do nothing except run for your life and jump on floor first chance you get. And then just say, well, I only said that because we were trying to sell fight. <laughs> Is that what load of bollocks I've got to give it? Is that the knackers I've got to go through now? Fucking hell, fire. Wish I'd never fucking said out now, because I swear to God, the t time consuming, innit? Do you know what I mean? Time consuming, and I'm belly ache. I've got belly ache all night because I'm hungry. Keep thinking about food in the middle of night. My emotions are up and down. I'm waking up in the morning and I look down and I'm just not myself. I'm not myself anymore. I'm not even 14 yet. I've never had a sparring session and my life's turned upside down. <laughs> oh, I don't know. We've got to laugh, haven't you? You know, if we don't laugh, oops, get in your lane. If we don't laugh, Yeah, guess what I've got here? Kev! <laughs> I've nicked it out of your office, Kev. Well, if you've ended up a millionaire having your lucky pebble, you might end up on Skid Row now, Kev. And I might end up with a few quid. Look, I've got your lucky pebble. So if I keep that with me, me Kev's lucky pebble, Spencer might go easy on me, do you reckon? Do you reckon he'll go steady on me? Hey? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see, but I'm looking forward to it. It's all a bit of fun, isn't it? And if we get some charity raised, fair enough. I don't know what's going to happen if we don't end up doing it at uh, an arena or something like that, or if nobody wants to watch it. I mean, who really wants to watch me fight Spencer Fearon? I don't know how it's going to work, so my advice is to Spencer, and I know you're watching Spencer, is why don't we... When I get down to £200, which is another, what, £23 to go over, seems a bit of brick wall. When I get down to that weight, Spencer, we could do it at a gym, Dennis's gym, Mick Wales, Richard Towers gym, could do it at a gym, and uh, We could sell DVDs and we can get a company to deal with the DVD. So people who, who deal with the company who, who've, who've got the actual DVD footage, they can just send the money to the charity. Because I don't think it's right that me or Spencer Fearing be involved with any of the money situation. It all needs to go to a charity. So if anybody's got any charities in mind that they think would be a good charity for it, 
email me porkycorner at mail.com I think a good charity because I think if if you if you want to hang around this boxing thing and, and do this without doing you ain't got to get in it for money have you uh, you've not got to get in it for money because there ain't no money there there's no money to be had you've got to get in it for love of sport like you did when you were involved with our amateurs so I think if we can get them to do it in a DVD or something it can still happen can't it because we can always put gloves on in a gym so the fight is going to happen whether it goes on Porky's Corner and or I mean if it goes on Porky's Corner I can take a screenshot of what money it's made in the first three months and I can send that money to, to the charity but I think it'd be better if uh, I think it'd be better if it goes on the DVD but we could also put it on channel or we could get Coogan Cassius to come because he's got the platform Coogan could come and put it on his channel and he can take a screenshot of what the net earnings are because obviously you know like your net earnings for example I've just done a Mr Bean video on I? The net earnings for it, it's over a thousand views, Mr. Creepy it says. The net earnings on it are zero. Because I was I swore in it and I said things that you shouldn't say. So they the 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 red flag you for it. But it actually comes up like a little gold symbol. But there's other videos I've done, like the Dylan White video, I was looking at that this morning and it says you have earned I don't know, four pound four P or something net something like that or, or three quid something or whatever it is it's, it's three or four quid off the Dillian White one and uh, that, that I could just screenshot that and so they, I could screenshot that and say well they, they, there's your there's your money for charity but if 6,000 views is only going to get four quid we're going to need to raise a thousand pound you're going to need a thousand times six thousand is six million so for, f to get a thousand quid you're going to need one you're going to need at least a million views aren't you roughly if you get a million views on a video you get a thousand pound right every time eddie Hearn sits down with coogan he'll do an average of two hundred and fifty thousand views coogan cassis will get 250 quid every time he does an interview with Eddie Hearn do you see where I'm coming from? the people who do views are who these people want to hang around with you don't see Rob Tebbert going to interview Josh Whale do you? because Josh Whale doesn't do the views a lovely, he's a lovely person Josh Whale, a family man he's been great for boxing, never been in trouble in his life but when he does 200 views on my channel on one video I look on that my channel and it might say 0.002 pence so Coogan's not going to waste his time on things like that but I am aren't I because you've got to look after your pals aren't you you don't cash your pals in do you whereas like I've just said to you there Eddie Hearn 250,000 views guaranteed every interview with Coogan and you know Coogan will then get paid off that I mean well, on a fight week he'll get six or seven Eddie Hearn interviews one a day plus he'll get all the other add-ons so he's a millionaire Coogan now and you've got to get to him they found a, a way to do it and that's it and when you've got people saying Coogan you're an arse licker and this and that do you think he's bothered when he's earning that kind of money no he is not would I be bothered yeah I would be me because I, I take things to art don't I but I take things to art but it is what it is isn't it but so if Coogan put it out there and told everybody to watch it he could be in charge of giving the charity to a good giving the check to a charity of our choice couldn't it that's my idea for how that how it can work save so messing about with dvds just put it on ifl get coogan to come and film it and me and spencer will get at it in the gym or in an arena i don't give a fuck as soon as i get to spend as soon as i get down to 14 stone four i'll be making loads of noise on social media because can't back out now can i and you can't Spencer as well because so if anybody backs out they've got to come off social media that's about that that's how confident I'm going all the way and you think I'm going to give all you little jealous fucks on social media a chance to fucking make me look a cunt what the fuck we know that a lot of you people who leave comments on YouTube we know a lot of you are just one person don't we 
we know that because we've got tech guys telling us but it is what it is isn't it so anyway I've got a meeting now so uh, uh, I don't think he'll be giving me keys to that today will he how about that though hey eh? no scratch on it now is there hey eh? hey eh? Oh, Porky looks after his pals, doesn't he? <coughs> so, peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. Shout out to Oshia Protein, thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to try them, and if they're any good, I'll big you up. If they're crap, I won't, because you know what I'm like, don't you, Rick? Uh, Peanut butter, oh, I hate peanut butter as well. Oh. When I pull up, what I do, I leave it running. I've told you that, why, Anna? If you've got a turbo diesel, when you've been driving in it, when you pull up, always leave it running. Just leave it running a little, just a little, a little bit longer. It's a long story, but trust me, it helps your engine. Helps preserve your engine. Right, that can go with me. That can go with me. Uh, what else do I need? Oh, file. My pen. I'll do have to do a part two because I'm not going to film my print code into factory, am I? So peace out. Join me in part two.